Hello, and welcome to another episode of Cube World. Uh, since the last episode, I have uh, just made my way back to the village, done a little bit of grinding, made some potions, and uh, I found out I have some pet food, which is candy, which I know from uh, another world can be used to tame cats. So we're going to just walk around town, try and find a cat, and I'll show you the taming. Um... Pets are pretty good. If you level, if you you get your pet skill up enough, you can ride them, and they become stronger, and they're just pretty helpful, really. Um, so I'm gonna get a cat. I don't know what to name it. You can name them with a command, but I don't know that command. So it's just gonna be kind of like something I call it. Right. Uh, just walking around town. I might go sell some things if I can find a shop. Uh, yeah, there's a shop over there. So I'm going to go sell the kind of just random crap that I found that I thought would be worth selling. Ooh, this guy. I don't want to sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Oh yeah, I've also found something out about kind of materials and armor crafting and the different classes. Uh, and uh, some classes can make certain armor out of certain materials and you know there's a certain material to each class so like rogues use cotton um, which you get from the cotton kind of plants uh, ro uh, no that's rogue um, rangers use kind of linen which you get from you get from plant fibers which is from the like bushes where you get the wood logs uh, mages use silk which is these cobwebs um, and uh, warriors use iron, so yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to sell this cobweb because it's not useful to me at all. Uh, not that I know of, anyway. I don't know, it might be useful. Um, I'm just going to see if it's worth getting any of this. Not really. Um, I might need to customize my longsword because customization is really cool. Uh, that over there is a kind of quest, I guess. Um, have you already explored the ruins of Geddon? Look, I've marked the location on your map and then you, you can go to that dungeon and take out the ruler and... Yeah. Also, I've learned about class trainers. In the last episode, I showed that there are two different specializations and the class trainers change them. So here we are. This is the this is the ranger one. It's a bit small. It's usually bigger. Oh wait, I think yeah, this is the warrior one. Um, so there's different ones for each class. That's the mage. That's the warrior. The yeah, this is the rogue, and up there is the ranger. So you just stand here, go into your skill menu with X, click on the specialization you want, and then learn. And now I'm a ninja, which I said I would do. So I've done that now. Um, yeah. Um, still looking for a cat, but other than that, I'm just kind of walking around, looking for things. I guess I should go. I'll just explore. Actually, I'll just go out, explore the landscape, see if I can find some caves, because I want to get some iron to customize my sword, or maybe just get a better sword and customize that as well. Because uh, customization, customization is very, very fun. Um, as I've said, it's it's a kind of free customization thing where you can just put blocks wherever you want. Um, but only certain ones. So there we had some iron. You just whack it to mine it. It's quite good. Very easy. Oh, oh some elf people. Hello, elf people. And now I can smelt that iron at a furnace and put make make armor with it, but I can't because I'm a rogue. Or put it on my sword. That's quite good. Um, rogues and warriors use iron on their weapons. Well, they use iron weapons. And mages and rangers use wood weapons. From what I've seen, you get wood blocks from those things. Uh, the bushes. The 
There's not much to say when I'm fighting because I can't hear a bloody thing. Because of all these noises. Ah. Oh god, it's, I'm not used to being like a level two. On my other characters, I'm like level eight ish. I'm a warrior. I've got a warrior class now. So that's quite fun. Is that a dude? Doody doody doody, it's an orc. No! That was a lot easier than the cow. Man. That's something over there. Evil human. I don't know what this purple stuff is around me. Uh, if anyone would like to tell me what this actually is, I would appreciate it. Because I have no clue. I think it, it's probably some kind of debuff, but I don't know what debuff it is. So, so it would be helpful if someone could tell me what it actually is. Because I have got no clue. <gasps> this is my spawn, I think. Yes. I'm going to need to get some cotton. Um, maybe in this episode I'll go back, make the cotton into cotton, I guess. And then maybe make something out of it. I might not have enough though. It's, there's kind of a luck feature which I've shown where, you know, when you're crafting stuff like linen, linen yarn or cotton yarn, you have a chance to get more than one. You can get up to four, I would see. But the four is a very rare thing. In fact, the, just getting any, more than one is quite rare. Not incredibly rare, but it, you can make an entire batch of like cotton yarn or whatever and never get a double. Which is kind of sad. But it's kind of fair, because if you had the look on all the time, it wouldn't be very good. Because, you know, you just have pretty much infinite resources. Which isn't what this game is about. This game is about going out and finding your stuff and working hard to get the things you want. I'm talking out of my arse here. <laughs> Where am I going? Uh, okay, we'll go back to the crafting district, make some cotton stuff. And then smell that iron as well. We can put that on the sword. Uh, you can get spirits from boss monsters and put those on your swords as, uh, and weapons as well. I don't know what they do. I'm guessing they just make it stronger in whatever way. Um, uh, and when you do your special move, I've seen that it actually glows in the colour of the spirit that you put on. And there's four kinds of spirit that I've seen. There's like a wind spirit, a fire spirit, an unholy spirit, and then... I don't remember the other one. Um... Where is the crafting district here? I'm sorry, I'm really, I'm really not used to this town. For there being another one. Um, all right, I'm in the crafting district. That helps. That's not a place that I need. There's a thing over there. Yeah, that's it. I need the spinning wheel to make yarn. I also need this to make my iron and customization. So I'm going to show the customization now. Um. Because I can. But yeah, it is it's kinda kinda shitty right now because I don't have much see, I added a bit onto my sword and now it might be a bit par more powerful by like point one of the thing. Um it, it looks a bit dodgy now, I don't know why. Um is yeah, spinning wheel. Cotton yarn, I can make uh, quite a bit of this. A. Um, yeah, you see, I got lucky and got three. It made that little ding sound, which is quite nice. So, cotton chest armor, cotton boots. I could make some boots. Let's make some boots. May as well. It's not like cotton's particularly hard to get. So now we have a bit more resistance, a bit more HP, a bit more. Hoo -hoo. What does it actually do? Add 6.3 HP, 0.5 armor, 0.4 resistance, adds tempo, critical hit chance, and whatever reg is. I don't know what reg is. 
But I guess that will be all for this episode. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, tell your friends. And I'll just see you in the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.